means people who are terminally ill with six months or less left to live, and it will be their choice. And there are some very strong safeguards around that, and that's what happens in um, America and in Europe. I actually attended um, Andrew Denton's um, seminar, Parliament House in Sydney, last week on this very issue, and he spoke absolutely brilliantly. And I would suggest that if you want to listen to his podcasts and how he outlines that need for that choice. Um, he also says, and so many people in the audience also said, they thought that that was too limited. There were many other areas where people who were aged or had lost a partner, etc. But Andrew sort of quite eloquently said, you know, really be pragmatic and we're trying to look after people who are terminally ill. I've worked in palliative care, I've nursed, my friends are nurses, my parents both passed away and I saw how they died and I think we need that choice. And as a mature society, we need to be having that discussion about that choice and what that choice means and what the legislation would look like. Yeah, uh, the National Party doesn't have a set policy on euthanasia as far as I know. Um, but I might just add, um, at least in the nationals, if you have a, uh, an issue of conscience, you follow your conscience. I mean, we work together, we have set policies. There are many policies, like anything, like a marriage, uh, you have strong discussions about everything, and then uh, if it becomes the policy <coughs> and you really don't want to follow it, well, you don't turn up and vote for it. Uh, but we are a team. Getting back to the uh, question, uh, we don't have a set policy as far as I know. What do I, th I think? Uh, look, uh, because of my professional life before politics, I was uh, in this very situation on many, many occasions. Things are, I continually get distressed to hear that people are having a really horrid, bad time when they're dying. You know, you really, it shouldn't happen in this day and age, particularly in this part of the world. There's a wonderful hospital, there's a palliative care service. Um, I know it happens because some places aren't as well developed as we have here on the mid north coast, but it shouldn't happen. And the other thing in this question is when you talk to people about it, what one person means is euthanasia is slightly different to another. To me, I mean like, looking well and booking yourself a flight up to the Northern Territory and getting hooked up. I mean, that to me is euthanasia. Dying with dignity, with adequate drugs and care and medication so you're not suffering, that's not medication, that's good palliative care. You know, we shouldn't be having this discussion because people have got bad diseases. It happens to us all. And you just need sensitive, modern care by good nurses and doctors who understand your wishes. The, the Labor Party doesn't have a policy on this. It, it's a, it's a, it would be a conscience vote if it came before the Parliament. It's largely covered within the state jurisdiction rather than the federal jurisdiction. I'm not saying that to kind of avoid the question in any way. Um, you know, because it's a matter of the state criminal law. That's where the criminal law comes in, and, and that's that's what one would be prosecuted under. Um, uh, let me answer the, the the question behind the question uh, by saying it's the last question that I want to answer. And the reason why it's the last question that I want to answer is because there are so many things that should be discussed well before that. Um, advanced care directives and things like that to enable people to be able to determine, you know, you know to plan in advance, uh, you know, how they how they how they're going to, uh, uh, you know, the sorts of the sorts of care that they want, and you know, do not resuscitate those sorts of things. You know, so th th there's a whole range of issues there. Some legal, some things that you need to talk through with your doctor and things like that. We need to be talking a lot more about that. We also need to be talking, uh, Dr Gillespie referred to palliative care, extremely important. The problem we have is that, uh, you know, while palliative care, I, I, I look at, 
I like to look at these things in terms of who the vulnerable people are here. And the, the vulnerable people I see are those that don't have access to the, to, to the palliative care, those that don't have the private health insurance, those that are in, 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 in nursing homes uh, where there isn't, you know, where, where, where the nursing staff are not trained in, in, in you know, in, in proper palliative care type procedures and things like that. This, these are issues that we need to have. Um, re, uh, the, the standards, I think it's within New South Wales, they've decided that, uh, that um, nursing homes don't need to have registered nurses anymore. They can get by with just nurses aides. We need to be improving the, the, the we need to be improving the quality of care. Uh, provided, uh, you know, provided in in, uh, in nursing homes, uh, you know, not not decreasing that, and uh, you know, this is a huge problem, and this needs to be addressed over, the, you know, over the next few years. So these are the issues that we need to be discussing before euthanasia.